Hey, this is Taylor from Salt Lake City, Utah, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. He's a weasel. That's your diesel key. Chevy. Chevy. Good day to you, good Sunday. Sunday day to you. The day of the sun, Sunday. We're here in the shop. Uh, you, you saw this in past videos already, right? We got this bracket off the back here and we're gonna be replacing it with these ones here. So today we're making the best of a huh, kind of situation. Ah, <laughs> uh, ripped off a mud flat bracket. It happens, okay? Don't tell me it doesn't happen, all right? It happens to the best of us. It happens to you too. It could happen to you too if it hasn't, all right? I was kind of embarrassed about it, but whatever. I backed into a bit of a pile of dirt and uh, I think I explained this already, right? Mud flap got caught under the tire. Uh, I kept backing up, didn't realize it until I heard a ping and the spring broke in there and la-di-da, upgrades. I had to fix it because I can't go down the highway like this. Uh, I'm gonna have DOT on my rear end pretty quickly if they see this going down the highway. You have to have mud flaps at least around here. I don't know. In Wisconsin, I see people running without mud flaps all the time. What's with that? That's dangerous. Just throwing rocks at people. Put some mud flaps on there. And they look better anyways. I'm figuring, you know what? Old Blue deserves a treat. You know what? I, I, I didn't know how to apologize to Old Blue about ripping her mud flap off. His mud flap, it's mud flap. So I figured, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just get it a treat. These are clear LEDs. I'm going to take them out of here right now. I'm very excited. I haven't taken them out yet. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, it's like Christmas time. Opening up the Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I got my horns over here, too, that I want to install. I was going to install my horns today before this happened. Forced to change plans. Okay. Come on. Come on. Don't make me angry, you won't like me when I'm angry. Okay, so the chrome is wrapped in a protective layer. But the, this is what they look like, they got clear LEDs. <laughs> Are they gonna fit my bolt pad? <gasps> I don't think I'm even gonna have to drill new holes, they're gonna fit! Oh, it makes it so much easier! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Hey baby! Beautiful. See, these two bolts have to go through the frame. And when I was looking at it, it they looked further apart than the old brackets, but it looks like they're gonna fit. This is for the driver's side, so I need the other one. I unwrapped the wrong one in my excitement. Where can I put you down? Okay, be good. Stay. Oh, I love shiny things. This is sort of like when you buy your wife a ring and the excitement she gets and she gets something shiny. This is like my diamond ring, except I bought it myself. For myself. Well, my business bought it for me. Thanks, Trucker Josh Transport. He's gotta fit through those two holes or I might have to drill a new one. I hope I don't. Hope I don't have to drill a new one. Can you see from here? I put you on the tire. Okay. Looks like it's gonna go right through. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Let's get these bolts off of here and try it out. She's modest though. She's all covered up right now. Don't worry. We'll uh, we'll take that off right away. Oh oh. Hmm. Okay. I think these bolts are a little thicker. Might need to bore out these holes just a little bit. But first I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, sand it down, just to see if, just to make sure that I have to do that. I don't want to if I don't have to, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to. A little more work than I thought it might be. 
I had to bore out those holes just a little bit to fit those bolts through there. And let me tell you, that's not easy. That is some solid steel. That's why they call it the frame. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so this is on here now. Uh, I've got to tighten it up and then it'll be straight and hang the mud flap on it. And uh, that'll be that. All right, I've got paper towel in my ears for hearing protection. I have earplugs, but they're at the house for some reason in my bag. So it works, it's protecting my ears because I'm drilling out these holes to be a little bit bigger for this. This one's done, this one's on. I just need to hang the mud flap on it and hook up the lights, splice those up. I'm doing this one now. Uh, these bolts were actually so rusted in here I had to break them off. <coughs> and there they are there. Or there's that, that one there. It was so rusted on, where do I have that piece? I have that piece around here somewhere. I have it around here somewhere. See, two of these, they both broke off like this. I'm trying to get that off of there. Whatever, I didn't need them anyways. I don't care. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> I think I just about blew up my impact. One sec, I'll wait for that to turn off. All right, so I have this handy tool, all right? You're gonna laugh at me, you mechanics, okay? But it works, right? So if it works, it works. This is my impact, my Makita impact, and it has this attachment on it, which uh, turns it into a drill. And a very effective one, I must say. If you're wondering if this contraption is a good idea, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but it works. It works so well, this thing is so powerful that it actually uh, blew apart these screws a little bit in here. I had to take this whole thing apart just now and tighten everything up. And that's all. Tightened up, ready to go. And this is how I bored those holes out to be just a little bit bigger. I know, I don't have all the right tools, but I have tools that work. So, did you know your impact can be a drill? Now you know. And so when these screws got loose on here, I thought it was about to blow up. So I stopped using it until I figured out how to fix it and I fixed it. Uh, in the meantime, I went and got dad's uh, air pressure, uh, air pressure. You know what that thing is, air compressor and uh, air impact. And it works the same way, but it's not as good of a drill as the Makita. This thing works fantastic. You want to see this thing in action? I know. All you mechanics out there, your minds are now blown. I should never touch my face with that again. That was a bad idea. It's got power to it. Don't do that, kids. Be careful with your tools. Don't be like Trucker Josh. I'm just a little goofy. Watch out, he's got power tools, okay? I'm gonna put you on the tire here. Okay, you guys gotta hang on though, okay? So I need these holes here to be just a fraction bigger. Just a bit, just a bit bigger. So I've been using this. And it works great. It's our secret, okay? You don't need to go and buy a new tool. This is why I have the ear protection. It's just really noisy, that's all. Am I yelling? I can't hear anything. See, I've already drilled them bigger. Now I just need to bore them out just a little bit. Okay, see? great you just got to remember to let your tools cool down because I think that's why mine expanded uh, and I had to tighten it up and stuff because I, I let it get a little bit hot but <laughs> right I know who would have guessed all you had to do is get this little attachment from China got it on Amazon it turns this uh, impact into one of these slingers <laughs> And I'm trying to, I'm being a little goofy right now. So uh, <laughs> I actually, I do know what I'm doing. I'm just, just so you know, got to clarify a little disclaimer there. Otherwise, you know, you get people being like, oh my goodness, he's going to blow his head off. Well, I might, but uh, it's unlikely. Professional right here. <laughs> Whatever works, right? It works. It's going to make him just a little bigger. Want to see it up closer? Look at this thing work. It works great. Yeah. 
You learned it here, folks. Gonna start calling myself a mechanic Josh. Impact Josh. One tool Josh. You can do it all with just one tool. It's gonna be a commercial. Why buy another tool if you have a tool that works, right? All right, all joking aside, I'm gonna get this done now. I wanna get this thing hung up so I can continue on. I still have to hook up the lights and uh, that's gonna take a little while yet, so. Success! Not all the way through, but take a look at that. I can suck it through with the, with the bolts now. <sighs> Welcome to the gun show. That it actually took a lot of effort, even with power tools. I'm just sweating. There's no air conditioning in here either, but uh, who needs air conditioning? Psh, air conditioning. That's for those weak Canadian folk. Air conditioning. I really wouldn't mind some air conditioning in here. I might, I might install one one day. The shop I build on our land one day is gonna have air conditioning in it, I tell you what. This Canadian is melting. But we got this on. Mm. Very excited. Uh, all right, so now we take the bolts. Or the washers, sorry. Put the washers over that there. Hook the bolt onto it. For the grabs. It's a lock bolt. And the power tools can do the rest from there. So it grabs. There we go. Now we just suck it in. That's a mandatory thing, right? Oh, be quiet over there. It's a great day to be a man or a woman who likes tools. Da -da 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 -da. Look at that. Just need to hang the mud flaps. Mmm. I think that looks great. That is awesome. I feel accomplished. I feel good. I feel manly. Let's go get the dogs and show them what I did. And they're going to be so impressed. I put them in the pickup for now and rolled the windows down. Just outside here, uh, just because of all the noise, Chevy was understandably losing his mind. Diesel, what are you doing in there, man? Excuse me, how could you work without your assistant? What if you would have made a mistake? Hearing protection out now. I'm glad I did that. Probably would have had a headache later if I didn't. See, I knew what I was doing, Diesel. No worries, no worries. Uh, you guys notice, I also replaced these. We have a visor on the left side now and a visor on the right side they match and they have this led marker light signal light underneath here which i have to hook up today as well hopefully i'll have time i'm gonna do the rear end first and then if we have time we'll come around and work on those now luckily the previous owner dropped off some extra mud flaps the only problem is these mud flaps are a little bit too long they drag on the ground so i gotta cut them Watch out, Chevy, you got a sharp knife here. Fold it over. These are really good mud flaps, too. They're really heavy duty. All right, now, in order to be uh, regulation compliant, you have to have these reflectors under here as well. This one's a little bit dinged up from the incident. But I bent her as straight as I could. We'll get new ones eventually. Forgot to pick those up, but this one will work. It'll work just fine. All right, this one is all finished. Wired up and everything. I'm just doing all the electrical work right now. I've got uh, this plug that goes to that light. I'm splicing them out to also go to these lights. And I'm crimping them together with uh, these little guys. And then once I have them crimped, I have some shrink tube or whatever you want to call this stuff here. You heat it up with a lighter, uh, you cut it to size, you heat it up with a lighter, and it uh, actually seals right up real nice. Check this out, I, I got some here. I extended these wires from this one here. These wires were a little short, so that's what that shrink wrap does. See, those are the crimps underneath there. 
And I got that shrink tube around there. That'll keep it uh, sealed from the weather. Now those I've got to connect whoop, over here to these. And then I got to connect these to all of those. And then put some more of that heat shrink stuff around that too. And I'm getting tired. <laughs> It's been a long day. Can you imagine if I was paying 130 bucks an hour to someone to do this? This has taken me, I'm almost up to seven hours. I'm not a mechanic. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm learning as I go. So I could probably get it done in a couple of hours, but can you imagine if I was paying someone 130 bucks an hour for seven hours? It would be, what, 800, almost 1,000 bucks after tax and everything? 1,000 bucks. I saved 1,000 bucks today. And I learned a new new skill. I can install mud flap hangers now. Or mud flap brackets. What are they called? LED mud flap hangers. Yeah, this one's all ready to go. I'm just trying to get this one ready to go. I probably won't have time to uh, work on the front ones today. Britt's at home already. She was at a, a bridal shower during the day today, and that's over now. And she'd like me to come home. She's already called me once and said, hey, I miss you. Come home. And that's, uh, that's, that's a hint. That's a pretty straightforward hint. Saying, hey, wrap it up, Josh. Come on home. Oh, i get this done. Yeah, I at least gotta get these, these things done. And then I gotta polish it. It was polished, but I got my handprints all over it. I took the stuff off too soon. Oh well. Having fun though, this is a lot of fun. This is exactly why I have my shop. So I can learn new skills like this. Next time it won't take me seven hours. Maybe next time it'll only take me three or four hours. Maybe less. All right, everybody, moment of truth. I think I'm done. What I can do. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Nice. Oh, very happy with that. Very happy with that. Nice. All right, let's do left and then right. Oh, oh. Look at you, old blue. Looking good. Looking good. Very happy that that all worked out. Holy smokes. I'm, I, I can be useful. Look at this. Ha! So my next thing is uh, the centerpiece here, right? The matching centerpiece with the clear LEDs as well. It's like a, it's just a bigger piece in there. And uh, that's about 400 bucks. I might get that next month. I can install that then, and that'll be another <clears throat> moment when it works. Cool. Well, you see, when you rip off one mud flap bracket, you repair it and you make it better. That is definitely better. Nice. <laughs>